It's the NFL on EA Sports. And center stage belongs to Matthew Stafford. He was terrific a week ago, well over 400 yards passing. It's the Rams and the Pats, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. From a venue that's been sold out since it opened back in 2002, there's a look at the home of the Patriots, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today it's week three, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. It's an early test here after two losses to start the season, and a game they probably really need. Obviously, no way do they want to get to 0-3. Not many teams make the playoffs with that kind of a start. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by a longtime starter in the NFL, a former number one overall pick way back in 2009. It's Matthew Stafford. And while he won't admit it because his team lost the game, he had some fun in the last one. He I threw mean, for over 400 yards. I mean, there's no getting around it. As a QB, yeah, okay. We lost the game, but boy, that felt good flinging it around. Now he's got to figure out how to do the exact same thing, yet turn it into a win. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. A quick throw complete out to Beckham. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On first down, Stafford here. And get this complete to Cooper Cup. The numbers a week ago for Cup, just a really crisp, clean effort, well over 100 yards receiving. But didn't he feel like he needed a hug when we talked with him this week? Oh, because he wanted the touchdowns. He wanted the touchdowns. He was all <laughs> depressed after that performance. I'm like, what's wrong with you? You were brilliant. He's like, yeah, but I didn't get in the end zone. He must have heard from the fantasy players on that one. Quick throw into the hands of Hopkins out wide. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 13-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. Out of the gun, Stafford. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown, Rams. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Rams are on the board first here this afternoon. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but... My only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15. <laughs> Keeping that going. And he feels like he can get it done. And he returns this to the 22. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. 
And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. And I saw that he had an interesting quote in the research packet that we had after last week's game. It's all on me now. I've got to lead my team and find a way for us to win a game. 0-2, oh but they're at home. I guess he's going to try and find a way to get the home crowd involved early. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. And the rushing numbers for Stevenson from last week. 13 carries, 71 yards. They put a lot of effort into game playing and establishing this ground game last week, and the reward was a nice day rushing the ball. Helped them put a balanced offense out on the field. And that carry is an indicator that this ground game wants to be established again this week. And he's able to get out to the 32 right down there. Four yards the pickup, first down. On the draw is Stevenson. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it brings up third and five now. Back to throw. Keeps himself upright. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. That'll be a 47-yard punt officially, five on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and ten. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 to nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. On first down at Stanford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And he's brought down. This duo locked in, 14 yards there, and a first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there, but now it's third down. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. But you look at this Patriots defense. Well, they come into play number 12 in the NFL against the run. And that play right there shows exactly why they're so good against the run. Held the line of scrimmage, held the point of attack, and stuffed him for no gain. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. Those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And not much running room. Down to the 32. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 13-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. From the red zone now, Stafford. He's got Cooper Cup on the slam. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And from the four, this is second down and one. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Kyron Williams. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Rams lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two. Two touchdowns, Charles. A great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, and not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced to punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Marcus Jones, a return man. Jones now on the return. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Well, we both know there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Back to throw now on first down. That one tipped and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively at second down. going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Here's Bryce Barringer now. This is taken at the 18. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here are the Rams to take over. They're looking to bounce back following the loss to Miami a week ago, and they've got the lead right now as they come up with a first and 10. To throw is Stafford. Open man is Higby, the tight end. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. His throw incomplete. 
I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Play action. Stafford. Underneath, caught by the tight end, Allen. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Here's Jones. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's second and eight. That's to the sideline and incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. He's to the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Joan L. Mooney, 71 yards. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. The drive there only spanning three plays. And finishing it all off was Darnell Mooney with a touchdown reception. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. On first and ten, Stafford. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. Here comes the Rams punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out of there. Oh, able to avoid him. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and ten. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. 
And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 14. He'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides, each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and throw something that can put your team in some jeopardy? Maurice Hurst, what an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. They need 18 yards here on third down. Now Stafford. Going up top for Cup. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football and try and take your shot and get him the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. Yeah, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Bobby Brown, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll look to throw here. He'll get this to Elliott. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Five yards, now it's third and five. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to seven, third and five. Stafford. And that will be incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. But all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? 
A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and they will take over first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And this is going to be intercepted. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. The disaster there, I mean, you saw it coming. The pressure gets knocked down, the interception. Sometimes the best throw you make is the one you don't make. Exactly. Take care of the football. He'll also learn how to shrug his shoulders, take the proper slide steps to alleviate some of the pressure. But occasionally, like the one we just saw, sometimes you just hold on to the football and take the hit. L.A. readies for its next possession. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw here, hauled in by Cup. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. Here's Stafford. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. On first down at Stafford. And yeah, that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Again, it's Stafford. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Patterson's kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This is a half with not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. They'll look to throw again. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. 
So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL here in week three of the new year. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. A 10-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Here comes the Patriots' offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. A first down carry by Allian. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and nine. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. And this will be caught by Mooney. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 42. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now back to throw. And that's Elliott complete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Touchdown, Patriots! John L. Mooney, the second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots have got it back to within a score. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where did you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now the attention turns back to the Rams' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, 
they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Stafford throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hopkins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. From the gun, here's Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. He finds Hopkins complete. Just a gain of a couple there. And now third down and six to go. Back to throw. Stafford. And that is incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Darnell Mooney and the rest of this offense ready to go again. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Again, it's Elliott. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Out of the gun now on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Inside give to Elliott. Yeah, able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Tenth carry now for Elliott. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he is caught. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. The give is to Elliott. And he's got it to about the 40. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But, boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. On play action, they'll throw. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And the Rams force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted. 
but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. After the interception, here's Stafford. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hopkins. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Second down and a yard. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And that one complete downfield to Cup. Touchdown, L.A. Cooper Cup, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Rams will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post wrap? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Darnell Mooney and the rest of this offense ready to go again. He's having a day here in quarter number three. Over 100 yards, couple touchdowns. Every receiver's hope for when they head into that game in the National Football League. And his team is loving what he's giving them. Of course, the yardage is terrific, but I think it's what you mentioned, the two touchdowns. That's the big one because he's paying off his results downfield. Yeah, and still more time here, third quarter. We'll see what else he has in store for us. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Just need a yard here, second and one. Here's the option. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Well, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. So that play, I mean, it was pretty well blown up from the start, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, and when you're running the option like that as a quarterback, you have so many different keys and reads to make that sometimes as you're making them, you're not protecting the ball the way you should, and it gets popped free. Following the fumble recovery, Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost you. And he's going to go down here as sack. They push him back to the 34. Maurice Hurst picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack, and they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Patterson's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. 
And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Patriots ready to get the football back. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Byron Young, the one who got in and finished that play off. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Rams ready to go on offense. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. From the 41, here's second down and two. Now Stafford over the middle. That's hauled in by Cup. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down up to the 47-yard line. To throw is Stafford. He completes it to Beckham. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? On first and 10, it's Gibson. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Second and seven. Now a tenth carry. Here's Williams. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Now that'll be caught by Cobb. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle but couldn't spring himself free. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Here's Stafford. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. Well, trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that personal foul, that only adds to the hole that they're currently standing in. Yeah, absolutely a bad job of just losing your cool and letting your anger take over. Mistakes like that, not going to help you at this stage of the game. Now Stafford. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. 
It's Marte Mapu. Takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. Now Ryland for the PAT. And the lead will shrink to six. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this taken in at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And the Rams now coming out on the field. And now this fourth quarter becoming very interesting. That pick six makes this a one-score game. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how aggressive they choose to be. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Stafford's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he's brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 51 yards on the punt there. New England trying to get a place on offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Bobby Brown able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. He'll drop to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Douglas. And he is going to lose yardage here. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all i got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Oh, man. They are living on the razor's edge. If this is incomplete, this game's over. Instead, it's a huge pickup. And I think the win percentage calculator. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call. And it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. Double 
this one to grab over the middle. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Very sharp here to start this drive, three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. Back to throw. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Ezekiel Elliott with career touchdown number 96. He joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Pats are an extra point away from going back on top here in the fourth. Ryland on for the extra point. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. That time a six-play drive. And it was all finished on the touchdown reception by Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So now Stafford and the Rams down 28-27. A minute 24 to go. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. They'll get this one to cop complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Stafford now to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, I mean, how many places to throw the football, if any? And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Work to do here with a crowd at fever pitch. Third and nine. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Stafford. Throw out wide is incomplete. They're already in range for a potential game-winning field goal, but they certainly want to get him as close as possible before sending him out there. Nice job defensively to force the incompletion. On second down, Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. Every eye in the stadium locked in on Riley Patterson. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. Two for two on the afternoon, and a third one winner. And his kick is indeed good, and it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. He hasn't missed a kick all year. Why would he start now? <laughs> That's a great question, isn't it? Well, maybe because that was the most nerve-wracking kick he had to attempt all year, but he knocked it through just like it was an easy chip shot. Well, this one, partner, was fun down at the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won, <laughs> and fun for us, because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through. So for the Rams, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 now on the year. And they'll get another road date 
next week. Meanwhile, for New England, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.